Hello, welcome to the Thermofluids Teaching Lab. I'm Peter Johnson and I'm here to show you around. So this space is dedicated to students and student learning and it's all for the topic of thermofluids. So we've got one large space here and three smaller rooms off the side and I'll show you around and what equipment we have here. In the steam plant room we've got two steam engines that are identical from Cussons and these are used by students in their first year. So at the far end you can see a boiler which generates steam and then equipment here to take the steam through various valves and controllers to a piston engine and an electrical generator. So with this equipment students can make measurements on a ranking cycle and we have an activity for them which involves a scenario fixing a, a steam cycle that's not performing as it should be and they work as consultants on that project. So this is our engine test bed cell and we've got two engines in here and I'll show you what they do. So this is the diesel engine, four cylinder diesel engine and you can see the dynamometer here and an exhaust system coming up and out so the students can come in here and operate the engines themselves and there's computer equipment to make measurements. We've got some temperature probes, pressure gauges and all the instrumentation you need to characterize the performance of an engine. And also on my right here is a three cylinder petrol engine so that they can compare the performance of these two different types of cycle and characterize the two engines and make modifications if they want. So this is the wind tunnel room and here we have a wind tunnel for the students to use. It's a former research tunnel that's now dedicated for student use and you can see a working section that students can access from both sides and they can do experiments in here investigating the boundary layer and drag on objects of different shapes including making their own shapes and putting them in and we also use this wind tunnel for project work for students in later years for example formula student or other applications. You can see on top here some of the instrumentation so we have pitot tubes, slope manometers and force balances. So this is an exhaust hood, a fume hood to take out the exhaust of these smaller engines which uh, students will be modifying as part of our third year automotive design and motorsport technology module. This is an arm field hydraulic bench, we've got three arm field hydraulic benches and this is a pipe flow rig to connect it to so the students can measure pressure losses in pipes with this kit and you can see here a manometer, a water based manometer and we also have digital pressure gauges for the higher pressure losses. So there's a significant component of innovation in our labs. So we've got some kit that we buy from suppliers that I've shown, but also we develop some of our own equipment with an eye to the student experience and what makes their learning most effective. So there's a couple of examples here. One is this uh, drag balance, which is designed to make the measurement of drag as clear as possible to a student. And behind there you can see a new exhaust system which is part of our equipment for testing the thermal performance of batteries where we needed to do soldering, so we needed a new exhaust system. And there's other areas where we've innovated, for example, small water flow visualization loops, large water flow visualization for demonstrations in lectures, and compressed air um, systems for compressible flow demonstrations. So we use equipment that the suppliers provide, but we're also actually developing our own activities for the students to make sure that they're really engaged and really challenged and really learning at a deep level with their hands on. So we're in the main space here and there's a few different experiments and we change the space around on different days depending on who's scheduled for what. So uh, I have in my hand a cutaway valve which we made to help illustrate these valves to students and more cutaway things here, engine parts, this kind of equipment for them to familiarise themselves with. Also some standard experiments, so there's an arm field kit here for heat transfer investigation so that's a, a water bath and behind me further over there you can see an air conditioning rig where they can do psychrometry measurements.